If you are a fan of using GoodLock to customize your Samsung device beyond what Samsung gives us out of the box, you're going to be very happy to know that GoodLock 2025, the revamped UI and application has finally hit the market. So you're able to download it and install it on your device. We're going to check that out and see how the customizations have changed. But the major thing that I want to cover in this video today is we're going to get access to an early preview of HomeUp. HomeUp is the best customization module available for One UI, and it's been the best one for many years. But now compatible with One UI 7.0. So if you're running the beta on the S24 series, and if you're running an S25 series or getting a brand new device, make sure to get this module and install it to check it out once it's available for you. This is TK. Let's check out GoodLock 2025 and HomeUp 2025 on our S25 Ultra. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so you're always notified whenever we have new videos for you on the channel. So what I have in front of us right now is the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now, just one thing to mention, if you are running One UI even in beta form, uh, you should still be able to get some of the updates that we're talking about today, specifically the good luck update that got pushed up overnight to my S24 Ultra. But the main thing that I want to focus with you guys today is going to be Home Up. Now, Home Up is a home customization. This is basically meant for the One UI home screen or the One UI launcher. So if you're using a custom launcher, some of the functions will work, but not everything will. Now, we're going to start off by taking a look at the new UI for Good Luck 2025. Overall, you'll notice that we no longer have the two categories where basically the modules were split between two different types of modules or basically plugins as they call them now. It's listed here. You have access to all of the uh, actual plugins or everything listed on one side. And then on the right side, you have access to the ones that you have installed. So Edge Lighting Plus, Home Up, One Handed Operations Plus, Sound Assistant is the one that I have. You're also able to customize depending on the ones that you have. You can install additional ones like Pantastic, Keys Cafe, some of the ones that you have installed and you can make them your favorite. So let's go ahead and go up here and then they become a little bit more edited or you can basically pin them to the top. The settings section or the option at the top, we have a good luck credits. This is typical to what we've seen before. This is the contributors that are allowing us to have good luck. Contacting them in case there's any concerns or basically you want to be able to provide any sign of support. And of course, permissions needed for the actual applications to run. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I like the fact that now we don't have to kind of dig between the two, like which routine or which function adds within whatever. If you want to download it and install it, you can just click on it. It'll take you directly into the App Store directly. This is the Samsung App Store. There's a download button at the top. When you click that, give it a second here, you'll notice it's a processing and it's going to go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, it'll be part of your, de your device settings and you'll be able to launch it as an actual module directly from your system. And one of the other things we can customize now here is the widgets, the way we want to be able to add it. We can add a carousel one directly on our home screen. We can also change the lock screen or basically the, uh, the background here. So set as wallpaper, we'll go ahead and give it a second. And it's going to change the wallpaper on here for the home screen and the lock screen. Again, if you're a big fan, this would be something that you want to do. But if you want to just stick with yours, you're able to customize it there. So those are pretty much built in here. And of course, you can add the mini or the carousel. So I can here, I can say add it. And let's go ahead and go with this one and scroll down. And you'll notice right there, good luck has been added. And I can actually, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and just move it ever so slightly above on the right side. And we'll add it on its own home screen. So you'll notice right there, we're able to launch it. It takes us straight into the new UI. And of course, you can save the different customizations that you want. So let's say I want to basically add, uh, you know, obviously good luck. I can add Pantastic. Uh, where is it here? We can add One Handed Operation Plus, Camera Assistant. And let's say we'll add Sound Assistant. And we're going to go ahead and say Save. You'll notice the actual shortcuts are positioned there. It's nice. And I like the fact that now this is customizable directly within the actual good luck app. Again, good luck, very simple. And you can have some categories here in case you want to be able to just jump to a specific app. So other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And the first thing we'll notice is that HomeUp is now kind of like its own launcher in a specific way. Home screen customizations as well as task changer have, are things that we've seen in the past. You activate the main section in here and you can go in there and customize it. We have gesture support here as well as the ability of uh, changing how fast the UI or how slow we want the UI actually responds. We have the ability of backing up and restoring now, which is something that we didn't have. Edge panel customization and of course, Share Manager is also in here, which we used to have in the past. And this is pretty much the ability of jumping in and customizing that bar that comes up whenever you hit that share button before you jump into a specific one. You can pin specific contacts, you can pin specific functionalities directly, and it's all customized directly from here, making it very simple. You just have to activate it. You can go in the quick share, change Galaxy devices, specifically customize them. Uh, obviously, the phone name in here that we have in there, use Wi 
Wi-Fi only, link sharing history, a privacy notice information, and contacting us. All of that is customized in there. Now, this one is specifically to customizing to, let's say you share a lot of things with their significant other, your friend, your brother, your mom and dad, whoever you want, but you share a lot of things with them over time. You can customize it to do a direct share to them and they become more of your direct uh, share and option. So that was Share Manager. Very nice, very straightforward, very similar experience to what we had before with more options to get there. The Edge Panel, very much the same, the same example as we've used to see it in the past. We have the ability of customizing what options we have in there, the ability of turning on some functions. Some are working and some are still not. Again, this is not the fully baked version that's going to be available directly within GoodLock. This is something that we're able to preview. So those are the couple of options at the bottom. Again, we talked about the home screen. I can change the icon, app icon settings in there, background blur options in there. So you can customize, jump in there, change the basically, let's go ahead and turn that on. And you can change the size of the icon, which is definitely very nice. You can minimize the size, you can change them. You can also show labels and then of course hide the labels. This is something that we used to have to do primarily with a custom launcher. So let's go ahead and disable that. And once you disable those, you'll notice that the actual icons now on the home screen are a little bit more, I would say basically a cleaner UI element. So very nice, very straightforward. You can customize that there. You can go in there, blur the background when you're opening certain applications. Uh, here, DIY Home is one of my favorite functions. And what it allows us to actually do here, this is very nice. You notice that I actually have my icons here slightly offset from each other. And it's primarily because of the wallpaper that I'm using. So I have Goku in here. In the past, this would have had to be basically more aligned with these two icons, which is not a problem, but in the past, like it used to just not fit in the right way. So I wanted to actually just move it ever so slightly to the top, providing me that nice little shape here almost looks like, you know, maybe Goku's holding them uh, in hand. And that's due to this functional options that we get in here. And this is basically called DIY home screen, allowing us to move things anywhere on the grid, customizing it to the level that we want. Uh, favorite Max app, you can also customize that to be even higher than what it typically is. You can say show favorites, uh, move uh, app buttons in there, of course. You can customize the app screen grid, the folder grid, the folder grid icon, pop-up folder, large folder, and of course, apply folder background color if you want to be able to customize that experience. Of course, my favorite thing is always going to be Tasks Changer, very much a similar experience to what we had before. We have the ability of changing between four different options. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they used to be five. But short answer is you can customize it. You can make it so that the recent app, the most active app will be the centered one that's going to be here, center the current running app. You can add the search bar, app labels. And of course, you can go into mini mode in case you want to be able to have a little bit more information. So you can just basically make it slightly smaller depending on your preference. I personally like to stay with the standard one. Uh, but again, very nice and very straightforward. You activate this. And the nice thing about this is that the task changer works even with third party launchers. So this is independent of that. Home screen only works on the One UI launcher. This one runs around the entire system, as well as the edge panel functionality, since it technically sits as a side launcher on the top here. So let's go ahead and keep turn off the uh, let's sorry let's keep the backup option here. But if I swipe from the right side, this is a side launcher, and this is one of the main benefits there. You keep it; you don't have to worry about it. But other than that, let's go and jump into backup and restore. Turning that on gives you the ability of turning on daily backup, weekly backup, and you can see the list of the backups that you have, and you can also run one immediately. Very nice and very simple and makes it very easy in case for any reason somebody messes up your home screen, you're able to restore it very quickly. Again, very nice, powerful function. We're going to do the gesture function now because this is by far the most level of customization. It's new and it's also the most customizable option that we have. First and foremost, we have home screen uh, animation uh, tuning and this gives us the ability of changing how fast this goes. I mean, so let's just say I, I'm not a big fan of doing this, but like like this is crazy fast. And that's going to be a part of the function that we have here. Let's close this app. There's a few options that we have out of the box. This is turned off. When you turn it on, you have the classic mode. So this is basically when I just close the application, open it up, get back to it. Now, elegance mode gives us the ability of going a little bit more, I would say smoother, but not necessarily uh, just a standard one out of the box. Uh, getting into that customizing. And of course, dynamic is by far the fastest. And you could see here just the moment you open it up, it just goes away. That's like one of the nicest options. Sweet, it seems to be the most slowest of all the options. And it gives you a little bit more of a, a gentle transition. It's still very smooth, but it just gives you the more customizable experience. So you have four options out of the box that you can play with, or you can go into simple tuning. And then here you can customize either being closely to more emotional, slightly slower, red being faster, and you can basically swipe it up to the right. And it just provides you the ability of customizing the slider of where you want. Of course, advanced tuning gives us a little bit more. This is where we can go in and customize, not just the vibration. So here, the dampening effect, the stiffness effect, the friction effect, how much uh, as far as the vibration on the vibration mode is, uh, motor as well. Also, the tracking functionality for opening an actual icon. You can customize it to be as focused on or as close to it as possible. And of course, the ability of changing the scaling for the wallpaper, the ability of changing how the zoom effect kind of works. 
and you can change it directly within here, the blur effect into the background. Last but not least is the home screen, the apps, the way the scaling is done as well. You can change that directly in here. The duration, the uh, and of course, last but not least here, just the tips on how to be able to use it. What I like about this is that this is just by far now one of the fastest UIs that we have. So I'm going to go back to dynamic because, again, just the ability of basically just opening an app and closing it like this. Again, we don't do that all the time, but it's there. The ability of changing the, the recent application, the ability of just jumping into what I want here, using it the way I want to use it, it's very nice. The additional tuning options that we get in here, again, very much out of the box. A lot of things that we haven't had before. Are we going to use all of them? Probably not. I'll probably say there's a lot of things here that we probably don't have. You can add vibration to the gestures, improve gesture sensitivity in the, uh, in the pay zone area, allow button gestures in full screen mode, gesture top priority settings, of course, and then button gesture sensitivity in there if you'd want to be able to customize those as well. Good luck 2025 is starting to push out right now. If you have One UI 7.0 and uh, you just turned on your device, you should automatically see the new UI for Good Luck. For me on my S24 Ultra, that was done automatically the moment I just opened up Good Luck. So, that function should be automatic. And if not, check for an update directly within the Galaxy Store and you should be able to update it directly to the latest version. Home Up currently is available in certain markets. It's not available everywhere. So what I will say is it's coming. If you're running One UI, uh, let's say six or anything in, in the general area of six, you should be pretty straightforward there because that version of Home Up is still available in the good luck modules that you get there. This is primarily re basically revised for One UI 7 and some of the customizations that we're getting there. I'll say this, I love the fact that we have Task Changer in there. I love the fact that we can customize the animation speed and it is absolutely crazy fast. Like it's adding a lot of functions in there. And the ability of being able to back up and restore is a lifesaver, especially if you've ever handed your device to somebody and they just moved an icon for you. And then for some reason, you don't remember where it is. Like having a custom setting in that system is very nice and the ability of backing it up is very good. I also like the fact that the tax changer still works across multiple apps, meaning you can run it uh, even if you're using a custom launcher because I typically like to use uh, Nova Prime on my devices. I'm actually now more enticed to use One UI 7's launcher because it's a lot more customizable than we've had in the past. The ability of changing uh, the icon size, the shape, the letters, uh, the wording under that, the ability of changing uh, not just the ability of customizing uh, the gestures, but also the customization of how the animation is for the wallpaper, for the app drawer, the background of the actual folder or the, the app drawer uh, folder that you have in there. So there's a lot of things you could do. Uh, also changing the grid size. That's also a big thing. You can go and add, uh, let's say typically we get four icons at the bottom. We can add a fifth one if we want to. A lot of things we can do here that we didn't have access to before. So in short, if you're excited as much as I am about Good Luck, 2025 version of Good Luck is out. Hopefully the uh, home up functionality will be available very soon on our devices, but this should be a pretty nice little preview. In case you're thinking about picking up an S25 series or you know, you're know you basically uh, on the edge of what can you do because you don't think it has enough customizations, One UI has it. It's Good Luck 2025 and it's coming back in a big way. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. I will see you in the next video.